the MMM module right here is the very first interactive module. So let me just show how it works. It has a sound sense in the front, which means that when the figures go by in the front, I can activate the sound sensor by making a loud noise such as clap. And that way it's adding interaction to a uh, layout and we already have a lot of movements in the layout, but having this kind of additional interaction should be quite fun for the visitors who are visiting the event where this might be displayed. And in this video, I'm going into the details, so let's get into it. So the truck right here in the middle, let me just open up, is powered by an NXT motor and it is also powering the track outside. It's just running in one direction. There's another NXT motor here in the back. It is used for shooting. As you can see right there. So it's pushing a big lift arm underneath and that is moving the trigger mechanism here. I have a uh, shooter right here in the middle that is punching the, uh, the ducks and it is being pushed by the uh, minifix moving by. So trigger like this. Apart from that, this module has a couple of gadget spots, gadget slots for seven by eight gadgets like this that you can uh, exchange. In the front, I have the writing duck shoot and the uh, loudspeaker or sound sensor is just mounted here in the front so that the children or adults who are walking by at an event, they can easily identify that this module is something they can interact with. You can see here the mechanism for running the track and the ducks is very simple. Just a couple of gears here and there in order to make it reliable. There are no gears for, for the shooter. And the way I have programmed it is that it shoots and then it resets slowly so that it never gets out of alignment. I don't have to do anything with alignment of the other motor, so everything just works. The programming for all this module is uh, in Java. It's all freely available on GitHub. I'm linking to that in the description below as well. And it is a nice piece of code, 69 lines of code. And it even has an extra output, which means I can use this module here to power other modules as well. Finally, we have the mechanism for the ducks. So they are running around on a track similarly to what you saw in uh, Ninjago City for the uh, sushi bar. That is where I took the uh, design. The ducks are just these simple little figures here that are standing in a circle so that they get tipped. And when they get resurrected here in the back, it's just this little mechanism here that pushes them up. So let me just show you how that works. Boom, boom, boom. You can see they get pushed up. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you really, really like this video, then you know how to interact with YouTube videos, with all of the metrics. And yeah, that's it for now. So take care, have fun, and see you in the next video.